Hello and welcome. Today I'll be taking a look at this Dynamo flashlight. Uh, well, it, it was sub two dollars, so I'm just curious. Uh, it piqued my interest because it, it does say that it has an EMH uh, nickel metal hydride uh, batteries included. So the idea is basically that you turn this knob here and uh, well, charge it. But I purposely didn't remove it from its packaging because I want to show you well th this is quite a thick plastic and if you think about this a little bit well uh, yeah they went with plastic instead of cardboard while in Europe uh, things like plastic bags are banned for years and uh, I know that this is fairly you know uh, fairly um, I, I, I know that this is fairly easy to get rid of but I will be keeping that because you just never know when you need something like that. Taking a look here, I can see that, well, it, how it works is basically that you turn it. Uh, I'm not sure if it does matter. It does it uh, if you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise here. Uh, if you turn the uh, the light on, it just shines and that's it. So uh, the battery seems to be charged. Um, it has four Phillips head screws. Oh, let me remove those so we can take a look at the insides because I'm curious what kind of battery they put inside. And I think I did already one of those Dynamo flashlights but it was very poorly made and well this was around half a dollar more expensive. And uh, yeah, so it's still not, uh, it's not like something that I'm expecting a lot of but uh, from uh, but uh, it seems to be much uh, much better uh, made as a product so it comes apart really well oh and it has all kinds of you know you can it, it, it does shift some gears around here and yeah I mean I was curious about this specifically because what I can see here uh, let me fold this back so I won't rip those gears what I can see here, uh, it's a nickel metal hydride, 3.6 volts, uh, 4 milliamps, 40 milliamp hour capacity. So that, that's, well, that, that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's quite a lot. And they went with nickel metal hydride probably because the charging of those batteries are, is really, really simple. And let me try and remove all of the things. Because I was a little bit curious about the current that you can charge this on. So if I remove this little board, I can see here a single diode and a resistor. So that uh, diode and resistor is probably only to keep... I mean, the diode would be for charging the battery to rectify. Uh, and the resistor is probably just to keep everything... Uh, I mean, the, to, to, to keep those... LEDs lit uh, and j just enough. I mean that to keep that free uh, free volts uh, voltage. So you are basically turning a little motor over here, which I didn't expect that. It's much much better built than the previous one, and it uh, you know you you have to change a lot of gearing over here. So this is a standard motor, to be honest. It even feels like it, it, it has magnets and when I turn this so this is a typical motor it, it's not actually a dynamo I think and you will be able to power this just fine uh, with with this little battery that you have over here so that's really interesting it, it's so it means that uh, what you do here you just it, it just charges uh, with a standard motor because those motors are ubiquitous. You, you can find those almost anywhere uh, in the, in the um, things like CD players, DVD players and so on. Circuitry is pretty simple. I made one error, but what you have here are basically uh, two circuits you can think of. Uh, your battery that runs the LEDs uh, through a resistor, 10 ohms, and then uh, you can also charge it by a motor, <laughs> it should be pointing this way, uh, the, uh, the the diode, uh, because it is, uh, it can also run our LEDs without any problems. Here I connected the meter uh, in series with the battery, so you'll see the exact current of charge and discharge. 
which is what is interesting for me regarding this. I close this off uh, a little bit so I can turn it easily uh, and take, let's take a look because it is currently charged to 3.7 volts which is uh, just enough. Uh, it, it is basically charged and uh, I will be measuring the current it takes to run those LEDs and uh, the battery is fairly charged. It's around 30 to 33 depending on the moment uh, the milliamps and it will gradually go down as the battery drains also since it has 30 uh, was it 40 milliamp hours I would venture to guess I think we, I don't have a perfect connection here uh, I would venture to guess that this little battery once charged will last you for uh, an hour which is well, for something that you can power with your own hands, it is fairly fine. And I'm curious a little bit when I turn off those LEDs, uh, what's the milliamp that I will be able to charge this at? So almost 250, which is a lot. Uh, considering this little battery and the roll of tamp is uh, charging the battery at the yeah that, that would be the charging um, amperage uh, just four milliamps that that's basically a rule of thumb uh, one tenth of capacity constant charging so it will charge over ten hours but those little nickel metal hybrid cells are very very resistant and also well considering this that you are basically charging this at the uh, let, let's call it that you can keep up the the speed of the turning of this uh, knob here uh, at around uh, well the, the constant speed would be uh, it will give you uh, amp reading of let's say 200 milliamps so that's five times as much as this uh, little nickel metal hider can hold and it, even if you overcharge it a little bit it doesn't really matter it will turn the, well, the, the, the overhead of power should mostly turn into heat and it shouldn't damage permanently this little battery but it still has the memory effect, so if you think about this. Uh, but regardless, uh, you are uh, charging it at five times its capacity, so it will be completely charged in 20 minutes of turning this. So you can actually run those LEDs um, I, at the same time and charge it. So it is, it is very flexible, and I really like that they use basically off-the-shelf motor. One more thing, because this is a single dead and not, not a full bridge rectifier that would turn either direction into a current, you will notice this is fine, but this doesn't do anything. It just overheats this little diet, basically. Um, I don't think it can actually, uh, you know, actually break this, but you know, it doesn't say anywhere that it w in which way you should turn this. Also, because the motor inside is actually 5 volt motor, at least I still think that's a motor because it really looks identical to what I had in my Walkman, old Walkman or CD player. If you turn it, and this is the voltage of the of that little battery over here, you can go really over 5 volts at the output, so it's probably even more uh, in, in well, before the diode. So there's a drop of uh, 0.7, that's a fairly standard drop of, uh, of the voltage over the diode. That's the without, completely without any load. Two more things about this, you can use this actually instead of providing the, this little bit of light uh, to charge for example your phone or anything like this, but, but if you think about it, if you have 4000 milliamp our battery in your phone and this could put roughly uh, this could this could charge up to 40 milliamp hour so it means that it will be only one percent of charge and this little device so you would and it would take 20 minutes to charge this completely so one percent every 20 minutes isn't it great uh, you would have to uh, change the voltage on the output and, and the plug obviously but there are little devices for that also I was a little bit uh, surprised that it is uh, actual motor instead of dynamo because 
what motor does is it's good at running uh, at turning power into movement instead of uh, other way around but it just means that it isn't as efficient but you won't have to be as efficient in this instance especially since it can output something like 200 over 200 milliamps so that's pretty neat that's basically it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time